Hello, clever people, and welcome to my review for The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. So The Nutcracker and the Four Realms is made by Disney, and it follows the story of a young woman, I think she's about 18 years old, and her mother had just passed away, and while she goes to a Christmas party, she finds herself whisked away into a magical world where there are four realms, the fourth which is being just ignored, and it follows her as she tries to reunite these realms and tries to figure out more about her past. So despite the title, this movie almost has nothing to do with the Nutcracker. Like, the story is extremely different. It follows the similar thing where a girl goes into a mysterious realm and meets a lot of different creative people, but like, I don't know why they attach the Nutcracker to this, and I don't know why it needs to be a Nutcracker thing and not just a fun holiday movie, I guess for brand recognition, but whatever. This movie is not one I was looking forward to. The trailers, they looked stale. They really did. And I don't know, there was just nothing exciting about the movie. And I went out feeling the exact same way. This movie was a chore to get through. I think that the best thing that this movie is, is that it's a female-led, with a strong female protagonist movie for a lot of little girls to go see. It's targeted for the four to probably 10 year old age range, and it works for that age range. Like, the little girls in my theater, they were laughing at everything, they were having a great time, and I, I wasn't. And that doesn't mean anything. Like, the movie serves its demographic, it does its job. I just think that this movie is just so devoid of any creativity. Like, there's, even though the, like, the CGI in it, it's, it's semi-creative. It just feels like stuff we've seen before and seen done in better movies. And the color design was really, really poor. It was really gray, so a lot of the colors didn't even pop. So the CGI didn't really pop that much. And I don't know, the movie as a whole just kind of felt bleh. The pacing felt excruciatingly so. The movie could, should have been an hour and a half, and I think it was two hours, and you could have cut out 30 minutes of this movie. And also, the movie never really chose to have a really true, strong storyline. It just hopped around a bunch, and that was a big disappointment. It just went from here to there, and then eventually it got a story towards the end of it, but even then, you don't really care much about the story because you haven't been given a whole lot to care about with your protagonist. You're given backstory, but she has no personality, and the villain in the movie, when it comes about, because it's a twist, when it comes about who the actual villain is, you don't care because you barely know who the person is, and you've barely been paying attention during the whole movie, and the action in it too, I don't know why they had as much action as they did because I felt like the action was supposed to be cool but it was really unexciting it was it just felt really lame honestly and I don't know the Nutcracker it just it wasn't really all that entertaining of a movie this movie isn't faring very well at the box office it's making a, it's not like making a lot of money and honestly it makes sense it's weird to try to take something like the Nutcracker and turn it into a blockbuster it just doesn't work and the movie isn't great and that just doesn't help anything. So in the end of the day, The Nutcracker, it's a little bit of fun, but there's really no Christmas spirit in it. That's something I forgot to mention that I would have forgiven this movie if it had some sort of Christmas spirit, which it didn't. It didn't have anything. So in the end, I will give Nutcracker and the Four Realms a 4 out of 10. All right, that concludes my review for Nutcracker. So, what are your thoughts on this film, or what do you think of the original Nutcracker? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. I'm Robert Burke, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.